happy Friday and welcome back to the Spill It Dill. I hope everybody had a great week and is enjoying the warm weather because I know I definitely am. I've got a ton of exciting stuff to fill you guys in on from this past week, so let's see what's been going on. Mama's boy and king of Staten Island has officially moved out of his mother's home. Although he didn't go too far, Pete Davidson has left his man cave and is now an official homeowner in Staten Island, New York. Pete first revealed that he was looking to move out in February of 2021. The New York Post reported that Davidson and his mother paid about $4.5 million for their home that includes a master wing and a high-end kitchen. If it were me, I would never leave. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Kim Kardashian has officially reached billionaire status, all thanks to her makeup and shapewear line. Forbes has estimated her net worth to be about $1 billion. Based on their calculations, KKW Beauty brings in about $100 million annually since its launch in 2017. Although she sold 20% stake in her company to a beauty conglomerate, Cody, for $200 million, her remaining 72% stake is worth around $500 million by itself. Skims, her shapewear line, has yet to disclose their financial records, but Forbes believe her stake in ownership is worth around $225 million. Kim makes up the rest of her worth through real estate investments, keeping up with the Kardashians commission, endorsement deals, and other business opportunities. She shares this title with her younger sister Kylie, who also became a billionaire with her makeup line, Kylie Beauty. James Hampton, best known for his iconic role in F Troop, The Longest Yard, and Teen Wolf, passed away this past Wednesday from Parkinson's at the age of 84. Hampton was first born in Oklahoma City, then moved to Dallas soon after. He attended the University of North Texas, where he studied speech and drama. Hampton's first Hollywood role was on the show Gunsmoke. He later went on to pursue bigger roles that allowed him to become such a familiar actor. And finally, Eric Church, as I'm sure the rest of the world, is officially ready to go back to normal and finally start performing again. This country singer has just announced that starting this coming September, he will be going on tour until 2022. The tour is called Gather Together, or Gather Again, excuse me, and will consist of 56 shows. With his new album, Heart and Soul, to release soon, Church will have plenty of songs to sing, and I'm sure a crowd like never before. That's all the tea I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of The Spill with Dell. I hope you come back next week for some more news. Happy Friday.